welcome back. Hey, we have a show today you are going to love. First, a little scenario. You're in the grocery store and you're standing by the door and there's newspapers along the rail. One of them says, more sugar. What is that newspaper? Dynamite looking, some guy playing a guitar, restaurants, what a paper. You know what we have today? We have the producer of that newspaper. My name's Vindiquino. The publisher is none other than Tom O'Reilly. Nice to meet you. Tom, what a pleasure. I have been reading your paper forever. Uh, this last issue, it amazed me because whatever's happening is happening in that paper. Mm. Talk to me about who you were, when did this all begin, and what's your goal here? This was, uh, actually, this is a story I've told many times. Everybody says, had you ever come up with that? Yeah. And, um, and uh, you know, where did it come from? Actually, the first time it came about was uh, in 1974, I wow. think it was. I was graduated high school. My friends and I were all in bands, and... Uh, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be great if you knew where everybody was playing? Yeah. Uh, and basically, it evolved from that concept. And what it, what what I did was for eight months, I um, I published the paper, not really knowing what I was doing. But we had the Gemini in, and we had uh, we probably had it was eight pages, and we probably had like fifteen clubs in it, and. It did all right, but it, it, like I said, I didn't know what I was doing. I was uh, in those days. You, you you glued things together. Yeah, uh, I remember those. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, which is funny because I'm going to go on with the story, and it's going <laughs> to, and you're going to see where it went. So after eight months of doing it and saying, okay, it's kind of like okay, it's breaking even, and this and that and the other thing, I took the advice of people that were like, Tom, why don't you go learn it? And I went to work for the Journal News, the Penny oh. Saver, several different places and learned that. Good idea. Well, I learned how to do it, finally. <laughs> and uh, I, I wish I had some of the first issues because it, 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 I still have them. And uh, basically it was uh, uh, 11, 17 folded to an 8 and a half, 11. And it was very crude, but um, it was the be beginning of the thought process. Then I went on and I started, uh, I, start, I was a freelance graphic artist and I, would, and I actually went uh, to uh, Madison Avenue. I worked down there for a little while. Wow. I uh, eventually bought, uh, uh, um, got enough clients where I bought a typesetting, uh, 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 the typesetting equipment, which was uh, pre-computers. It was... Uh, it, 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 you put together books. We used to put together books and magazines for people and newspapers. Yeah, that was a and tedious it, process. Oh. I mean, today is a whole different world, but it was pretty tough back then. Right, right, yeah. We, uh, yeah, we used to have ca giant cameras uh, <laughs> to take pictures yeah, of, yeah. blow things up, and, <laughs> and all this very expensive uh, equipment that I ended up throwing in a dumpster on my 40th birthday. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, hundred yeah. hundred plus thousand yeah, dollars you don't, worth of You don't stuff. need it anymore. Yeah, the, compu the computer first took the newspapers um, away, and then the magazines went, and then the, finally the ad agencies and everything like that. They all uh, they all became you know in in house. And, yeah, yeah, so you can uh, do everything right there. Yeah, funny story is though the guys who the art directors that used to say. Um, could you take out one billionth of an inch between the A and the R uh, on this uh, headline for this magazine? I know. And they have no concept of what it takes. Yeah, no, we, we would do it for them, but once they got their own equipment, it was like anything went. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. like, I'd look at, you did this? This is horrible. <laughs> so uh, basically that's where I went. And then what happened since the, since the, uh, the typesetting business for whatever it was, 15 years, uh, went, went down. I, uh, I did a little bit of uh, film, 
I did a little bit of sales repping for a, a director that made direct response commercials, oh, wow. which was nice. And a little bit of producing in there. So I'm familiar with all these cameras and everything. Yes, and, and this uh, is not new to you. Not new. And, uh, and then I said, you know what? Time to start the newspaper up. It was back in like 94. Here is the one year anniversary issue ah. of the paper. And as you can see, it's small, it's black and white. But we, we were a year into it at this point. Uh, my buddies, uh, straight wired, are on the cover. And uh, I have to ask you. Go ahead. More sugar? Oh, okay. Now this is <laughs> this is this is a story that everybody wants to know. Uh, it's it, there was a, a comedy group back in the '60s, probably uh, called Fireside Theater Co Theater Company. Okay. And they had a skit which involved. Um, a barrel, um, a maple syrup barrel, that had on the uh, uh, that had branded into it more sugar, and some people walking through the woods nailed it to a tree, and uh, the people and the, the police and the mayor and everybody thought it was some kind of conspiracy. Oh, that's so it was funny. a funny. It's a funny yeah. story. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I, if I, if I, I don't remember the story, I don't remember it, and I should probably Google it and find uh, Fireside Theater and find that little skit because it's, well, it's. Well, I 40 want you to know ago. that I had about ten theories of why you came up with that name, uh -huh. and they're all wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> now it's simple. My friend came through the thing. He says you should name it More Sugar, and I said. That'll stick. <laughs> so, so yeah, it was. Uh, and it did. I mean, it was. It's a good name. Yeah. yeah people. It's. It's. I've walked into places to drop it off, and people more sugar. They. You know, there's like almost a, <laughs> so this a battle cry. First anniversary issue. Uh, did that really kick off where you are today? Mm -hmm. The first anniversary issue. Yeah. It's. It's. You know, you just keep trying, and you think about it, and you try new things. And and if you look, this one, it's probably, maybe it's 12 pages. Yeah, it looks like a 12-pager, which is not, you know, we got up to like 60, 70 pages, uh, probably uh, around 2,000, like six, seven years, eight years into it, we were like, it was like, it was as thick as like the Daily News. Yeah. Wow. And it would be, and uh, I actually had drivers that would that go delivering it, saying, "I'm not lugging this thing around." <laughs> it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah, because it just like destroys your car if you if you if you overload. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now, uh, the articles are they all freelance, or you have a staff? How's that work? We have a, uh, a few people that uh, d uh, do d put the articles in. Uh, many, many of them are generated through, like, the Richfield Playhouse is a, is a regular <coughs> advertiser. The Paramount Theater is a regular advertiser. So where they actually originate, uh, most of the articles, actually, are from the artists themselves. So let's say uh, Styx is playing at... Uh, the Mid-Hudson Civic Center. Ah. This is a... Uh, Typical one. Who's who's got me? Okay. Yeah, there you so there's sticks uh, on the cover. Wow. Too much. I think it's too much time on my hands. <laughs> yeah. I think that's their song. <laughs> um, I never have too much time on my hands. Yeah, yeah. I never yeah. have enough. So anyway, uh, sticks uh, sticks will uh, send their their photos and uh, they'll send their photos and uh, uh, press press information about you know, the history of the band, to the Mid-Hudson Civic Center, which then sends it on to So us. some of the groups contact you directly. Some do. And, and that's good. And then and do, you, do you ask them for, like, little stories, little things that you can Yeah, if we paper? see somebody, if, I see, if I'm out, I'm out and about and I see somebody, I'll, uh, I'll say, you know, I like you guys. Uh, why don't we talk on the phone and yeah. give me some information? And uh, we get something done. Do you actually get out to the places? I mean, you advertise a lot of places. Yeah. There, there's always things going. So are you you party boy or what? Not as much <laughs> anymore. Uh, but uh, over the years, I have been. Yeah. 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 I, it's, I mean, it's know. important to get out there and see what's actually happening. Right. I was amazed at how many things are actually going on every week. Mm -hmm. um, there's 
bands playing all over the place. And there's a, a lot of good stuff happening. And I noticed that that's really your focus. Right. Are you a musician? Yes. Yes. Uh, I play the guitar. Oh. We have a, a, a band called the Barfly Orchestra. Wow. And do you still uh, play out? We, uh, I think uh. we played out about two months ago. In the okay. winter time, in the winter time, it's just too cold. You're lugging yeah. stuff in. Uh, so is it rock? What kind of music? Well, it, it's uh, it's more. There's a the reason it's called an orchestra is it's there's a trumpet player and a saxophone player besides the the rhythm section which is oh. the guitar bass and drums wow. so basically there's five of us wow. and we do some motown stuff like uh, i feel good <laughs> and uh, hold on i'm coming well, uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, motown cla- yeah. a lot of motown classics a lot of classic rock and uh, it's fun it's a lot of yeah, fun yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, how many papers are you getting out each week? It's not a week. It's a monthly. Monthly, And okay. uh, basically, we print, at this point, 14000 a month. Wow. A lot of stuff, and I want to uh, say this now, and I'll probably say it again later, because it's what I've been doing for the last three days, <laughs> uh, uh, is our, our Facebook uh, presence that we have now. And okay. our Facebook presence is... Fit more sugar, two words, nightlife. And I go, we have it up there. Oh, yep. here it is. Nightlife, Hudson Valley. So if you go to that, what I've done is I've taken a lot of the, a lot of the, there's a lot of um, content at this point on there, and people are signing up like crazy to join. Yeah. It's a new it's world, a isn't it? Now, because yes. people, you know, with these computers, it's unbelievable. People can. <laughs> Come in any time. Uh, I know. Is your paper online as well? Yes, I put I wow, put it up on the. Wow. I put it up on the. We have a uh, more sugar. Uh, uh, it's under my name because uh, uh, Facebook doesn't didn't want Tom O'Reilly on there, so it's it's under Tom O'Reilly, and it's with the apostrophe. And if you go there, we have five thousand Facebook friends. Holy cow! And that's, that's uh, really good. And the group that we're doing, the one that we just the the graphic was just up. The group that we're doing, uh, it's been up two days, and we're up to two hundred and fifty people wow. that have uh, come in and said, yeah, fast. Uh, uh, you know, we want we want to be in this group." So my hope is to get the whole five thousand into the group. Yeah, and go, go viral. Whole, and go viral. <laughs> the, the whole paper every month is up there, as well as performances by some of the some of the bands. There's a uh, there's a thing on the Whalers. There's a Satisfaction. All coming up this weekend. Uh, the, the, so this is a good music weekend around. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's like five shows going off, wow. and we feature them all. And as soon as they pass, we take them down and we put up the next week. Wow. So the Facebook, uh, the Facebook thing is going to be. Uh, so it must be hard to be keep big. up with everything that's going on all over the place. Yeah, well, the, <laughs> not when you have the computer and. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. No, you're right. Yeah, I just like the other day. I think it was yesterday. I was sitting there going, "Okay, let's see what's going on at the Chance in Poughkeepsie." Uh, okay, that's what's going on, and I shared yeah. some of their events and went to the Ridgefield Playhouse and. Shared some of their events. The Paramount and Peak Skills shared a few of their things. And if yeah. I could find a performance by the guy who was playing there, I'd put it on there, too. Yeah. Technology has come Still. a long way. Oh, yeah. When, when I first did uh, Kiss the Candy Days Goodbye, I did it on a Selectric typewriter. Oh, my God. And it was like, holy cow. This was state of the art. Yeah. You get the little ball, oh, and you could uh, yeah. and you could have italics <laughs> right there. All you do is press a button. There's italics. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. that was like whoa, uh-huh. and easy to type. And now what a different world. Oh and, yeah. And we had the pet computers. It was like unbelievable. Pet these computers. Pet I don't computers. Remember and that. they had these little like paper discs that you put in. Oh yeah. Uh, it was unbelievable. I had that. Yeah, and and it drove you nuts, but then. Little by little, we have come like no. amazing distance. There's so it's it's so much easier. But do you get overwhelmed with information now? You, you can be. You just yeah. uh, I, t- I I go and take a nap. 
<laughs> what, well, getting back to that, what you were just talking about, we used to store books, like yeah. like when we do books, we used to store them on a, a roll of paper tape with holes punched in it wow. that you would put into put in, a, yeah, a, re that's a reader. Really? Oh my God! And it would, and, and it was just like it was just like the most primitive yeah. form of uh, memory well, possible. For, for me, remember, I'm doing it on a typewriter, right? And you know what editing is like, so. You do this whole thing, and then you read it, and you realize you got about 120 mistakes in this book. Mm -hmm. So when you go with your little uh, that, white, that out. white out, and you <laughs> have to white it out, then you have to get somebody to retype the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. But and and I used to pay high school kids to type because it, it was like insane. Right. Well, when the computer finally came through, and you could make corrections. Oh, on the yeah. screen instead of on the manuscript, big difference. Uh, I apologize. I thought no, I turned all right. this off. Uh, I, I, I said the it. magic word. I, I said the magic word. Now Parrot yeah. comes down and says you say the magic word. Uh, all right. So different world, different technology. Are we ready to change again? Or are well, you... that's that's what the Facebook thing's all about. Yeah. I'm not changing. Um, I think uh, the newspaper is basically boots on the ground. In other words, people are looking at this. They're picking it. They're going yep. to the diner. They're picking yeah, up a copy. Really... Oh, here we go. I'm going to get to show another one. This is uh, from July 2016. It's uh, got um, Joe Lewis Walker on the oh, cover, wow. and it was. Pretty nice, nice issue. We went from black and white to color. Here's Donovan. Oh, Donovan! Ay, Don ay, ay. I'm just mad about not, that. that. Do we have to pay uh, uh, that, ASCAP now? Um, yeah, we do now. <laughs> <laughs> you brought his song. Yeah, he uh, he's been around a while. But now, so here's a wonderful example. Mm -hmm. Donovan obviously didn't come into your studio and take a picture. Oh no, no, they 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 have places. You know, the Donovan. People take care of that. Yeah. Then they send in the yeah. things that you need. Yeah. You incorporate it into the paper. Right. So talk to me a little bit about the process. Now, do you have an executive board that sits around a table and says, hey, this is our front cover? Or who makes those executive nah, there's decisions? There's like three of us three. Uh, that All are right. involved in that, and we just kind of... But you are you still a very important part of that? Oh, you, yeah. I, I'll you say pretty like, much decide what's yeah. going to be on that cover? And... and, and, and Basically, not to not to um, is we um, we decide we decide uh, amongst our advertisers yeah. who we're going to put on the cover, and the, the face has to have recognition. And that has to happen pretty quick because your paper comes out once a month. Once a so month. you have to sit down and decide. You know what do we want on here? Uh, is that is that ever a problem? I mean, do you ever get a point where, like, all three say, no, I want this, no, I want this, no, I want oh, this? Oh, yeah, that's, that, that, that's a problem. And I just say, like, <laughs> listen, uh, you know, that's our decision. And uh, I basically, I, I've even put you it You carry the load? I put it on, yeah, I just say, The buck like, stops just, there. Yeah, I just say, well, you know. No, uh, we're going with Donovan. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but uh, I'll make it up to you down the road. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, all right. All right. So, uh, any surprises? Uh, is this where you wanted to be today? Actually, uh, the computer, as we discussed before, yeah. put me out of my one business that I was in, and thank God they did. That was the most <laughs> stressful business in the world. And with this one, this one is like a cakewalk compared to dealing with authors. Yeah, oh, <laughs> tell me about that. I, you know, you you know I've got 12 of these. It's amazing because I, I've gone, I, I did the gamut. I was with Dell, then I was with Purple Mountain Press, then I was with History Press, then I started doing Create Space and uh, some of these other, publishing these on-demands, which are so much quicker, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can turn a book around in a month. Right, You right. know, it, it's, it's amazing. Well, my first book, it was like a year and a half from when I actually went into the office for the first time and when it hit the bookshelves. And it, it's a whole different world. Yeah, you can knock it out fast. Yeah, you just nowadays. knock them right out. I, I remember my, uh, just my daughter, Sarah, who's helping me now and has helped me the whole time. She used to do restaurant reviews in here. She's out in, 
California is a, a, a Hollywood producer at this point. Oh, yeah. So she's really doing really doing well. But uh, what was I going to say? At five years old or four years old, we had a scanner and optical character recognition software, oh, yeah, which yeah. was like, so if she was four years old, that would make, and she's 31 now, that would be 25 years ago. Right. She would sit and she, and Put the paper on. You were talking about having high school kids yeah, type, yeah, right. retyping. No, she would put the paper on the scanner, the scanner that cost like fourteen hundred dollars because it was <laughs> and like that was a early, lot of money early on. Yeah. And she would hit a button on the computer, and it would scan the entire page. She'd take it off, put it over here, and put it on there. Five wow. years old, I had her working. Wow. I should be arrested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she loved well, it, and it made her what she is today. I was just going to say, well, where is she today yeah. because of that? Yes. Yeah. She learned how to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and you have to do it. So do you have, uh, how, do you have a, a, a big storefront? What, no, I mean, what, no. What's we it have, like? We have a little office that, we, uh, that uh, if I have to meet with somebody, we have a little office down in Buchanan. And uh, mainly it's done out of the basement of my house. And wow. uh, my desk, which is about four feet from my bed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there's never, never any rest. Yeah. It's like uh, well, I can... I was up 2 o'clock this morning. I had a new story idea. Ah. And I said, you know, I can't do this because I have the show tomorrow. I want to be fresh. So I went back to bed. Ten minutes later, I said, yeah, I could do this. <laughs> I, so I got up for. Where, I you had to go. In, yeah. I didn't want to let the idea yeah, go. Yeah, you got to get the idea. It down. haunts you. Yeah. It's a haunting. A kid asked me one time. He says, "Mr. DeQuino, how do you know if you're a writer?" I said, "You're haunted." He said, "By ghosts?" I said, "No, by stories." There's a little voice in the back of your head that won't shut up. Right. He says, "I got that." I said, "You're a writer." <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah. So. Uh, so oh, perfect. We can do this another twenty years. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know I've been thinking about. Uh, anybody want to buy a newspaper <laughs> and some great we gotta, ideas? We got some no, more no. sugar for sale. Yeah, yeah. We, we eventually <laughs> it's going to come to that. I know that. Yeah. And uh, I was actually approached by some back in the day when I was full of. Piss and vinegar, if you will. Yeah. Uh, I was approached by a, a major newspaper c corporation, and they took me to lunch, and they wanted to buy me, and this and that, and the other thing. And wise guy, I, sh I wore a jacket, but I also wore a Hawaiian shirt with a, ch <laughs> with a, with a bead chain around my neck because I had the world by. Yeah, that's but, right. Yeah, I had. The, right. I, 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 it was going. That's and right. I was making plenty of money. And uh, uh, and I'm there like I go to concerts like five nights a week and uh, you know and show and Broadway shows and this and that and the other thing. I mean, why would I ever give this up? And yeah. basically they were there like okay we get it and, yeah, that's uh, it. and, then I, and then, yeah and then I and then I called them recently no <laughs> <laughs> and said hey I changed my mind yeah yeah it's me it's and, and, me. <laughs> and basically, it basically it was like too late oh sorry yeah, you know not that yeah. they got anything else it's just that the no. newspaper the newspaper business is very strained yeah, at this oh, point is. yeah it's they're, they're, because, they're all losing you know, money I have to be honest with you I get the newspaper delivered but I read it online Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's I read everything just online. Easier. It's easier. I go in, and I press a button, and there it is, and I read it. Right, right, right. Yeah, but it's good for the fire. No, I'm kidding. It's great for the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, question. Yeah. The paper is given free to right. people. How does that happen? And is it advertisers? Well, yeah, it's uh, the the. Uh, Radio stations work on the same principle, yep. and as does the penny saver. Uh, and actually, newspapers to a large part work on, yeah. the, the, on the same yeah. thing as the advertisers pay. It's, it's, it costs you 5000 a month to put out, yep. and you got to sell 10000 yeah. yeah. if, 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 you know, if, if uh, that would be like a, a you know, Made up numbers, but uh, that's basically it. You know, you gotta, you gotta sell more than you, yeah, than it so, costs. So it's a business, and it's never. So, I've never had to go in my pocket. That's 
Correct. and pull out money. It's, yeah. it's, it's always, it's always, it's always made money. It's and and uh, you know it's scary in the early days. It would uh, I would for for like three or four days I would feel ill, uh, a, a nervous nervous stomach probably, yeah. and it would be like. Uh, you know, you could really get hurt here. You could really get hurt. It's scary, but it's a yeah. challenge. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, isn't it a challenge? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's always, it's like having a baby every month. You just say, like, ah, look at my new little thing. <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's yeah. pretty much it. Uh, and, and, and it's keeping up. I mean, same thing with the books. You know, people say, why do you do it? And, you know, you're doing all this writing. You're not making a million dollars doing it. But you, you got to satisfy something in here. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a passion. That's what this show is all about. Right. Satisfying a passion. Well, I got bad news for you. Yeah? Got about a minute left. Wow. I know. Goes, time goes by when you're having fun. <laughs> I was, when you told me it was going to be a half hour show, I so said, like, what, what are we going to do for half an hour? <laughs> well, we did it. That's funny. We did it. So Great. Yep. Now, that guy out there who wants to buy your paper yeah. wants to know, is it worth it? It's, you, have a, you have an awful lot of fun. And... Uh, and you, you, is it you an have eight an awful job? lot of fun. I mean, you can go to concerts all the yeah. time. Is it an eight to four job? No, 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 no. There's that, there's, <laughs> Boy, that was you, a quick you, answer. You no. have to be attentive all the time, and you almost yeah. have to live it. Yeah. But certainly it's not a job like you, you know. I mean, basically my wake-up time, except for today, <laughs> is like 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 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 not like I hear these guys who get up at six a.m. and schlep out to the this and that and the other thing. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I know. I I'd know. be I'd be a hundred years old. You know, yeah. I, I'm already. And, and all writers have a different way. And you yeah. you are a writer, yep. as yep. well. So you're a musician and a writer, and that's where this comes from. I'd love to talk and about and a graphic artist and, and a graphic and a regular artist, artist yep. too. I mean, I and have, a party and, and and a party animal, a party animal too. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Thank you for tuning in today, and thank you for a great show. Thanks, Vic. Uh, keep on doing what you're doing. People need to know what's happening around town, and you are what's really happening. Thank you for being here. <laughs>